So hi, YouTube. Uh, first thing, I apologize for looking like shit. I just got done working out, and by working out, I mean playing club for four hours. I also apologize for the kind of scattered format this is going to be, but I'm going to pretty much try to give my thoughts as unbiased and deliberately as I can. I know that I usually come off as pretty abrasive or un unyielding, I guess. But a lot of that is just because I'm pretty tired of feeling discredited for something that I've obviously put a lot of work into. And when it feels like nobody is trying to look at an entire picture, that gets really frustrating. So I'm going to try my best to react to this since he made a long form video. And then I'll kind of explain any differences that I'm noticing or any consistencies that I don't think he addressed and why I actually use it. I'll say in advance before I get into the video, I'm assuming that the default grip should be the one that I'm going to recommend to you. Thumb on claw, index finger on the face buttons, middle finger on Z. You can have ring finger here if you desperately need to. And then you can either do normal on left side and index finger here or claw on left side and your middle finger here. No, I'm not flicking you off. And that is what I think it should be default. You should also remove the spring if you go for that method. And I'll explain why, except for some specific stances. I know Spark said Sheik wants to uh, light shield for the L cancel. I don't exactly understand why. So this is from Fox's perspective. A few disclaimers, this is not to talk about the legality. Yeah. It's also not one I'm super interested in having. Upsets me that Cody is in the middle of all this because he is like the one winning and he does use Z jump. So a lot of times it feels like a personal attack on him. I don't want that to be the case. When you don't claw like your lasers and you have your normal grip, that's fine, but it's hard to switch to like an up smash or yep. an instant aerial or whatever. It's a lot easier if you're clawing. The easiest demonstration is this is assuming standard grip. If last second you're in this position and this would be the motion for laser or you'd go X to B, whichever one. If you decide last second to age JCL smash, you would have to switch your hands to this position to get JCL smash unless you want to use analog stick, which I don't recommend. But even then you still have to move your thumb down here. So without claw, that is very difficult to do. Hard to, to go straight into like up smash or short hop up there. Short hop up there for the same you reason. Know, so you never have to change your grip. So I do recommend you always stay in permaclaw uh, while you're dash dancing, playing neutral, sharking, etc. cetera. Uh, there should be no difference from Z-Jump to clawing unless, and keep it full disclaimer, I do believe that uh, Z-Jump is probably better for handheld than clawing, probably for a variety of reasons. I'm gonna make it clear now, I do not believe that given everything else we've allowed in the game, and I do not believe that we should go back in some instances, one of them, that we should gatekeep a technique because you quote unquote should have to hurt your hands to play. I understand the accessibility argument, but I think even just by the nature of needing snapback capacitors and things of that nature, uh, we've long gone past the ability to just pick up a standard OEM. And I don't believe that V-Jump is, especially with FOBs nowadays, anywhere near an, uh, a prohibitively expensive or difficult to do mod for anyone who wants to get into it. Especially because you can also remap on Slippy and then wait till you go to a tournament to have someone do it there. So that's my discussion on those two before I get any further. Like having to either preemptively or be aware enough of the situation to switch your hand grip based on what you think is going to happen. Okay, so I'm assuming this is going to be the crux of this. So I'm going to show this just on Slippy for you guys real fast. So I'm going to switch to melee scene. I think this is really important. So I mentioned earlier the default layout that I think everyone should use. And the reason for that is when I'm in permaclaw, if I'm in permaclaw, the things that you would likely do out of permaclaw or short hop or aerials, right? Shine, laser, I'm talking for Fox, but this should be extended to every other character. Shield and any number of other things. But my statement about this is that if you have this grip, so again, I'm going to go full camera. And again, if this looks uncomfy, it can be, but I also played like this for six years and it took six years till I got hand pain. Uh, and I would switch back and forth, but that was because I didn't understand why one of them was good than the other. And then once I went to Z-Jump, I understood why it was good. And I realized I should have been permaclong the entire time. So if you have your grip like this, there is no one of these buttons that you ever have to switch for. And some of them might be like, aha, but short up double laser. But the way you do short up double laser normally is you slide from Y to B. And there's nothing stopping you from doing that with your index finger. It's just substantially more uncomfortable uh, if you're not used to it. So there's nothing that really stops anything in that situation. And it'll all take a little bit of practice. Um, the difference is, I think people get lost in that argument because they assume that I instantly switched to Z-Jump and was really good. But in reality, I switched to Z-Jump and it took me a month back in early 2021 to get back to where I was. And you can go back to the stream somewhere. There's clips of them. 
where I was struggling to even jump cancel grab. It took me like two weeks to feel like I could play again and then about a month before I was back to where I was. And I was still number three after I got that. I don't know. The laser thing is, it's pretty big, in my opinion. And like a lot of arguments for this as well, it's like, oh, well you can just permaclaw. I've already been doing this for, I don't know how long, like three minutes. And like, my hand, my hand is starting to tense up a little bit. I don't. Keep in mind, when I first started Z-Jump, I also had hand pain, and I had to play like maybe an hour a day at first because the amount of just strain it was on my hand was too much, and I would have hurt my hands if I kept going. Anytime you practice a new grip in anything, not just in melee, you do anything with a new grip and that's intensive and you're doing it over and over again, you're putting yourself at risk for any type of strain injury. Uh, and you have to start slowly. That is just the way it goes. So he said his hands are tensing up. I would be interested to see why his hands are tensing up. Uh, there's a good chance that the way he's holding it might not be perfect. There's also a good chance that some people's hands might naturally not like claw. And that is true. Um, the reason I switched, which I'll probably touch on later, is that my hands are very big. So if you look at the way I claw, my index finger like super wraps around the Y button and it puts my index finger in a position where I get, where it's in flexation, which causes carpal tunnel down the road. I don't personally think that hand difference should be a matter there. And I also think that because a large number of people should be able to do this, it should be fine. But again, I understand a purist perspective no, we shouldn't change anything, but then there's a lot of things. My argument there is you have to get rid of a lot of things before you even touch on Z-Jump. It's not something that I, like, want to do. And it's like, you can see I'm pretty good at it, too. Kind of. Like... He is pretty good at it, and that's my point. I do think he's quite good about it. To me, the fact that the only issue is potentially hand pain tells me that this isn't something that is making you any better. It's just making you so that you're not going to destroy your hands. I I've talked to people about it. Yeah, possibly, Bryce. Arguments of, like... Well, you can permaclaw and you can change your grip and do all these things. And it's like, technically, yes. But I think that's kind of like a, an insensitive way to like approach that argument because it's always approaching an argument based off of like what the person arguing would do about it. Like Cody, for example, does say that like he, he does argue the fact that like, yeah, you can permaclaw. And it's like, well, yeah, you can. Like, you know, not everyone has big hands not everyone also uses uh I, I get his point but actually my hands are too big and that's kind of the point let me see what else he says this l for everything i think permaclon so that's my problem my problem with is with this line of thinking he says not everyone uses l i made a choice to change my it so stick with me for two seconds even if you don't agree assume that i did in fact just change my grip right i made a conscious in-game choice to change my grip to make it so that i can accomplish other things more easily and to me, saying that I don't want to use L, to me, is saying I don't want to change my grip, therefore you shouldn't be able to change your grip. And I get that there's a difference because it's Z-Jump, I do understand that, but I'm saying in this specific instance, I don't like the argument of I don't want to use L, therefore you shouldn't be able to do this at all, because that's not a what is possible, what can I do? That's not a what can he do, that's what he wants to do. And I understand, again, I do get points of it, but we're not in a situation where we play a game on vanilla controllers on vanilla melee. Sorry, we definitely play vanilla melee. Sorry, Nintendo. Um, we're not in a situation where we play on vanilla controllers, right? And so I don't think that those two things in conjunction, this is a fair stance to have, in my opinion. And it's not like I did it overnight. It took me a month to get good at Z-Jump. It took me a while, just like it would take him a while if he tried to learn out. I've thought about using other grips because like, I also want to like... Whenever I'm clawing, I lose access to like my jump cancel grab because I jump cancel grab with normal grip. And it's like, yes, I can train myself to uh, JC grab with claw. So, okay, maybe the root of my issue with this is that there is a grip that will unlock more for him. There is a grip that doesn't change his controller that will make him better at the game, just objectively, right? And my problem is that he's saying, I don't want to learn it for this, but my argument is that then you're not worried about being the best you can anyways. And that might sound harsh, maybe that sounds insensitive, but to me that directly shows you're not trying to do your best because you would do the thing that would just make you better. Why wouldn't you? So to me, having a discussion on this feels difficult if you aren't willing to try the thing that does make you better and then make an opinion on it. It's like, oh, I could learn, I could learn, but I don't want to. And it's like, okay, well, if no one wants to learn it, then how do you have a productive conversation on it? You, there's no point of reference to it whatsoever. And that to me gets really, really uh, muddy. But that argument on switch box, because I think box is gonna get nerfed to the point where it's not relevant anymore anyways. And box would take me a year to learn, whereas Z-Jump only took me a month and I was not financially able to take a year off of Melee. 
and I probably will do that if I um, am not switching to Z jump or anything like that. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so I would like to hear what he says afterwards. But it's like there's no argument for like denying that like this is more difficult and harder on your hands. I don't and think it's more difficult. I think it may be harder on your hands. That's but I don't think there's any difference between this and this. Like in terms of comfortability, maybe. Most people aren't used to this motion, so that does make sense. Um, but in terms of like ease of execution, there is no difference. And I just want to be really strict with the language because that is important when it says like this. The, to me, the argument does boil down to one might be worse for your hands. I don't think that this is my opinion. I don't think it is smart for a game that already has a limited player base, no dev support, and is old to genuinely try to lock something out because it is better for your hands. I think that is just a flawed perspective and you are pretty much saying, okay, you know what? Screw you. I don't really care if your hands die. And this isn't like a boxing. Again, box can do things that a controller and a lot of times physically can't. And the other thing is people keep saying, oh, well, Z jump, you don't have to switch your grip, but that is also just not even true. And in fact, it's a really important thing you have to switch your grip for, which is if I want to ASCI down in neutral with Z jump, I have to claw anyways, unless I want to give up the ability to instantly change to A or B. Why? Because I would have to dash ins like this, right? And where's my thumb? It's no longer on the face buttons. And they say down while dash dancing is not a irrelevant thing. It is a pretty important thing in Melee. A lot of people do it. I haven't implemented it yet because I don't want to, because I'd rather have access to all my fingers. That is a conscious trade off that I make. It's not even necessarily true that you don't change your grip. I just gave up something that is objectively very important in a lot of spots because I didn't want to hurt my hands and I made that trade off. Or just a time save of not switching your hand grip in general. And that frees up like a lot of mental space. Right. And I think that's like a huge benefit is like, you know, for the record, assuming this was true, I do agree with the mental stacking of having to switch grips. No, I agree. This is a valid argument. If like taking away mental stacking, I do think is a legitimate argument. I don't think he's wrong in that. I think he's wrong in the way he gets there saying this is why one cause mental stacking and one doesn't because I don't think either should. Whenever I'm clawing and it's ambiguous as to what's going to happen. But for me to switch to like claw and do it like let me try you can this is a bad faith argument you've never tried this with you don't try this with claw you don't do this with claw so of course you're going to be worse right again kalindi has spent how many years playing this game doing it with this one technique and then you show me this this clip and i understand again what you're saying you're not as comfortable with it and you think it's harder but of course you think it's harder you haven't spent your entire career doing this there's no way to make this comparison in a good faith way because you have so much more experience in doing one way than another. I like I think people sometimes forget they spent the first year of melee learning how to short hop in a bedroom. Another one is like the wave shine combos. Okay, I'll hear it. Why? And scrambles specifically. Okay. When you can't be for sure if your shine is gonna hit. And let me so see. Why does that make a difference? Actually, uh... Shine is gonna hit. I preemptively claw sometimes, and then um, for me to grab and recognize that something has changed, this happens where the way I can grab because my hand is no longer on um, on the Z button. Like my Again, if you claw, your middle finger should always be on the Z button. That's because he doesn't want to use R, but if you use your ring finger for R, it's fine. So again, my point is that when you claw, you should always have your middle finger on the Z button for that exact reason. If you claw like this, you'll never have the issue. And if you don't want to use the ring finger for R, which you can do without a, without a question, and you can support yourself like this. This is not a problem. Like this is, do this. If you don't want to do this because it's uncomfortable, then you should be primarily using L, preferably digital. And I would say that if that's the only thing, you can just use your ring finger for R, and then you would have your L right here, and you default to this. Uh, unless there's a universe where you actively have to use both triggers, both, right? There is never a universe where you don't have grab, shield, and your face buttons, and your C-stick, and your analog stick available to you at all times on reaction without changing your grip any more than you jump and use your thumb. But if you can't, that's my entire point. Why should you pretty much say, oh, this shouldn't be happening because you can't 
do this thing without hand pain, but I should. And again, I know a lot of people argue, oh, well, there is an accessibility argument. I, with all due respect, I think we are so far past the ability to argue in accessibility based on the things that we already have, unless you want to get rid of almost everything, which if that's your stance, I want to reiterate, that is a perfectly reasonable stance to get rid of everything. Uh, but I don't believe that's feasible right now because we're already so far down that hole, which is why I want to just cut everything off now, let everything exist, and then address it one by one. So you can make an informed decision based on the current pool of mods that we have. After addressing box, because that does need to get addressed first, I don't like the argument that there's no boxes in top 50 that only panders to top level play, and I don't think that's as healthy to only look at top level play. I recognize I have a bias, but I think in the community's best interest, it's silly. The only argument I will say that I haven't addressed is maybe some people say, oh, but your thumb is technically stronger than your six finger, so it might be easier to do some things rather than that. If I am clawing, I still have to move, my, or if I'm Z-jumping, I have to move my thumb from C-stick to face button, right? But if I'm clawing, and some people say, oh, my thumb is stronger than my index finger, so I'd rather use my thumb for some of these inputs. And okay, sure. But your thumb then has to do everything. It has to move all around when you're Z-jumping, whereas if I'm clawing, I only have to have my index finger on these three buttons, which is a much less uh, travel time issue. And I get my thumb for C-stick oh, yeah. at any point without moving it, so I get everything unlocked to me at once, much more simply. So I'm going to just finish this off by trying to explain something as hopefully deliberately and in a way that makes as much sense as possible. I believe, for, at least for me, that Z-Jump has a benefit in the sense that it allows me to play in a way that my hand doesn't hurt. I hopefully, from everything I've told you, have shown that, at least from my perspective, and I do like to think that I understand that I have a bias, but my perspective is pretty fleshed out given that I have clawn almost more than any other top player and z more than any other top player, that I don't see, from my perspective, trying to be as objective as possible, and I understand that's impossible to be fully objective, that there is a direct benefit in terms of what you can accomplish in game. I'll say an adequate amount of practice. And keep in mind, it took me a month to learn Z jump that you can do on Z jump that you can't do on claw or vice versa. I don't see that. Everything I've seen comes down to, I am more comfortable doing this. And please, before you comment on something, ask yourself, is this because I'm comfortable? Is this because I learned something from when I was younger? Keep in mind, everyone holds a controller this way, right? So it makes sense that a lot of people do find ZJ more intuitive because this is how you're used to holding the controller. So of course it's going to feel easier to do an input like this than this because nobody holds controllers like this. But that doesn't mean it's worse. All that means is it's what you've done for your life so it's what you're used to. There are people who have clawed for their entire life and every one of them pretty much doesn't have an issue with it. They say, yeah, it's completely fine. I actually like this more than Z-Jumped. I get that there might be some things I've missed. Maybe there's some things I haven't considered. And I understand that a lot of my arguments have come off as abrasive. Please recognize I have issues with tone and it's sometimes hard for me to understand what I'm saying in a way that makes sense. Nobody has given me a solidified reason yet that I can see other than comfort and hand pain that Claw is better than Z-Jump, or Z-Jump is better than Claw, or vice versa. And there are so many other issues with the game that, with all due respect, are so much more, like notches are more egregious, boxes are clearly more egregious. Everyone agrees that boxes are worse than Z-Jump, but then there's only three box players in the top 50. And take a second back and then ask yourself, if boxes are that much worse than Z-Jump, and no one's even top 10 with a box, is this really that big of a deal then? Uh, that feels really, it just feels really ingenuine to me that it ha that this discourse, and I guess some people never liked it, but it feels really ingenuine that now a bunch of people are making videos and it objectively is, people are making videos and talking about it on Twitter more than ever before when I start doing really well. And I get it, but keep in mind that they also have a bias. Just like I have a bias, Zane has a bias. Zane lost number one to me and I Z jump. And I don't think he's being malicious. I don't at all. All these other players also have a huge bias and none of them want to learn claw. I switched this button and this button. That is all I did. And I think to have this much discussion and discourse and outrage over it for all the reasons I've mentioned is unproductive, not focusing on the right things. And sometimes it just feels like it's in bad faith and that's personal, but it does. I don't want to be discredited for being a cheater because I switched two buttons on a controller when there's a million reasons I got to where I am. But I do agree you need to get started in it somewhere because it is getting ridiculous. I just don't think this is the mod to come after, man. So hopefully that explains a lot. Hopefully it explains my stance. I only use this so that my hands don't die on me. Please just have a level-headed conversation about this and stop assuming that I'm saying this from bias. I am down to talk 
talk to me.